uh, turn off the lights. Um, wear headphones. D don't sleep. Okay. Um, no gesture. More, no more gestures. No, no more gestures for us. But but yeah, it's an unfiction about a fake TV show using a real TV show. Um, let's start with allies and then crawl our way towards the madness of the jester. Although, I guess we got to keep an eye out for a code, like a number code. I'm going to need pencil and paper, aren't I? So I have some paper still left over from the Adams Family value. And I have a pen in front of me because I'm an artist and I always have a pen in front of me. So, um, yeah. Let's let's jump in. I'm <laughs> like some of the digital this guy. This guy looks like he's tasting something bitter while he's talking to me. During their adventures, the group would meet several allies willing to help them. Help. 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 Oh, oh, I don't I don't like that. Um press back twice, please. Voldemort, isn't it? You want to see Voldemort. You can't see Voldemort. We're getting to Voldemort. Get it out of your system? Okay, cool. Uh, we are on characters. In addition to the Dungeon Master, they could rely on the assistance of Maldor, the Cambri Cambrian... Oh, I forgot to say it. Hi, I'm Grimwit. This is Frontiers of the Mind. Let's move on. In addition to the Dungeon Master, they could rely on the assistance of Maldor, the Chamberlain. Uh, we, we have furnished about... Don't worry, this will be on YouTube. You can catch up. I love this man's hair. He could be prankish and slightly terrifying, but he never refused to help the adventurers. Easily identifiable with his red gown and his crown of white hair, his help often appeared as clues related to the forthcoming riddles. The contestants could also walk into Selma the Shepherdess, a young woman who lost in the castle too. She never clearly explained how she arrives here, here, but she would give the contestants advice and directions. Imagine being lost in the back rooms and you come across a woman in a, what do they call those, veils? A white veil and a loose dress who knew everything about the directions of the back rooms but couldn't leave. That's essentially what she is, right? The help of Cora, the Sentinel, could be d determinant. Who wrote this? Uh, this mercenary from the marshes surrounding the castle knew all the weaknesses of the entities, about, entities abounding in this place. So a huntress. Fetching one, too. With her Leela dagger. And her... Behold, I have found perfect green. I have discovered green. It is here in my hand. Why is it black? Because it's really deep green. The other characters would appear occasionally. Garen the Apothecary. Mischievous and Wily. Elena the Crimson Princess. Ooh, that's a... Now I'm still in that name. I'm still in that name. The Crimson Princess. The only bearer of the Crystal Rings. If you're wondering about the Crystal Rings, Crystal is a champagne that, um, to help me, somebody made that. Who made that? Not Duran Duran, right? It was somebody else. Oh, well, whatever. The character list is so long. Melvedesh the Groom, Keeper of the Dragon's Eyes, King Khan, Servant, Begat the Innkeeper, well versed in gossips going around the castle, 
A Doctor Who references in the Black Adder one. Thank you. Oswald, King Khan's counselor. Compulsive gambler, but faithful advisor. Say that ten times fast. Selka, the sh shapeshifter elf. We don't know any of her other forms. She's not much of a shapeshifter. She just says she's a shapeshifter. And I bet she's like, okay, I had been hiding in the room with you. Do you know what I was? No? I'm not going to reveal my secrets. Were you were you the candle? No. But good try. And just always say no. <laughs> Murden, the wizard, descendant of the first druid. He was the only character who could bring the contestant back to life. How? Oh, and that's it. That's all we got. Enemies, I like this guy's smile. Unfortunately, in Maze Masters, the enemies outnumbered the allies. In this section, only the human-shaped antagonists are listed and no other kind of creature see entities. That's a this is a great design as well. I need to I need to I need to draw some of this shit. I need to go through this with my sketchbook and just get ideas for character designs. So Nightmare also had also Prop Hunt in it. It's a pretty old game. Doom Lad, do you know about Wizards game? When you play Wizards and you're just shape-shifting into different objects? Isn't that also kind of a prop hunt? Lord Fear was one of the most striking ones. As the final enemy, the adventure, adventurers would fight in the throne room at the end of their journey. Although they could always win the battle, they couldn't kill him for good. Also amazing design. These are amazing designs. He ruled over several sadistic henchmen blindly serving his dark ambitions. There's that smile. It's a great smile. And once again, a good design. Aside from the Dark Lord, there was Queen... Nargal? 40k members, jump in. Who could control the main entities of the castle. Is that a jester puppet I see? Is the jester a entity? His faithful servant and counselor was the jester himself. As from season four... Nwe enemies Wulawad as for pair Ian Heti Soba Help Wait no 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 we're going back in Help Okay so spoops happened there were spoops happening. That's the jester in the incident, yes. Surely you jest. I'll show myself out. <laughs> no, get back here, Cross. If we're gonna throw bricks, it might as well be at you. Is that the Phantom of the Opera in the background? Cast turnover. Although the incident related to the cast of the show remains quite minor, they are no less noteworthy considering the evolutions discovered later. First off, nobody had eyes after the show. Nobody had eyes. <laughs> it appears that some actors got so lost in their roles that they were unable to break character. The actress playing Liliana was found asleep in, on an unsaddled horse somewhere in London suburbs. Okay, I need to know, Brits, anyone in comments, can the British get easily get a hold of horses? You scrolled past backward riding too quickly. Oh, was it riding? Was it riding? Hang on, back up. Was that backward riding?
Uh, evil enemies dueled. To, okay, let's back up. Damn. I, I'm not doing this. It's it's doing its own thing. But was that backward writing? I don't think this is backward writing. I'm American and my aunt has horses. You don't count untrusted. I'm I'm pretty sure not everybody in Britain's aunt has horses. New enemies would appear in and then you scrolled away again. I can't go backwards from here. The back button doesn't work. Oh, wait, no, it's up here. What? Why is the back button up here? Huh. As far as the next page, it goes on its own, glitches out, and then kicks me out. I'm not actually controlling that. Oh, would appear in the show. That makes sense. Okay. And the performer playing Watton the Wizard set his... Oh, that's, that's Voldemort. Uh, set his garage on fire while trying to find the Philosopher's Stone. End quote. Yet the cast turnover certainly remains the most curious element. Except for a few rare exceptions, most of the actors refuse to keep their role after their first shooting. You don't count on this, uh, Untrusted. You're not... Like, you don't have a normal family. Most people don't have horses. Although this is Oklahoma I'm living in, and everybody has horses. That does not count either. I am also not... I also don't count. I'm a descendant from an Irish horse thief. I have no comment on the availability of horses in England. Well, you were stealing English horses, so maybe that's why they don't have horses now, right? Many reasons were mentioned, but the most common one was related to the issues of, uh... <laughs> Bertram's stare um, catering on set in particular with the presence of something in the meat what I didn't expect that okay we already know the jester incident we are still looking for clues for the jester code I guess um rooms or entities let's pick pick one or the other because I know untrusted once to get into entities, but rooms is next on the list. What do you guys want? Don't worry about objects and experiments. We'll get to those, and then we'll get to more, which I assume is where things get really off the rails, because this feels like the second half of the game. I'll, get, I'll give you guys a second while I sip tea. <sighs> Okay, none of y'all are answering, so I'm just going to rooms. So we got safe rooms, lethal rooms, color rooms, and secret rooms. Okay, the safe rooms go to enigma rooms, encounter rooms, empty rooms, or healing rooms. So we're, we're now two menus deep. Although there were many dangerous rooms in Maze Masters, the adventurers could take a break in some of them. That does not look like a room you can just break on. Yeah, this, this does not look like taking a break. The first ones were called Enigma Rooms. They were of all sorts. I get the feeling like this is a design doc that I could use, maybe, to build my own D&D &D dungeon. My D&D dungeon. 
That's Dungeon and Dungeon. Math riddles, brain teasers, rebus puzzles, or anagram. What are rebus is? Is that where is that where you saw shapes and you tried to guess the word or phrase? And I gotta define this. Define rebus. A puzzle in which words are represented by a combination of pictures and individual letters, for instance, apex, might be represented by a picture of an ape followed by the letter X. Okay, I, I know what you're talking about now. That's just a cube. That's just an amorphous cube. Bertram would only give clues if the team manifested signs of weakness. Huh? What did the back rooms look like in the Middle Ages? Well, it looked like Maze Masters. It was like an old style D&D with a crazy dungeon. So they're called Funhouse Dungeons nowadays, apparently, but we just call them dungeons. Uh, the D&D Dungeon Diagram Disasters, or DDDDD. Five D five five D, but that's playing your five D chess dungeon. Encounter rooms. This is where we come across the encounter ratings. I'll try to gauge them by hit dice level. Encounter rooms were rooms where bearers of the helmet would meet a character or peaceful creature. Oh, the, the encounter rooms are not dangerous ish. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Is that a giant spoon? On very few occasions, an enigma room could serve as an encounter room. A floating disembodied kappa head. Well. I think it looks like the jester summoned the well. Empty rooms were... St Statistically very rare, but they could still be found from time to time. Okay, here you go. Here's medieval back rooms. They could be mistaken for a room's inhabitant by a wall monster. We'll get to those. Although they could offer a short break, they were neglected by the adventurers who never stayed there for long. Well, that's a dangerous room, because you have to direct the kid over in the correct direction, right? Some said they fell uncomfortable in those rooms, while others would explicitly speak of the fear they, in they inspired them. This needs some proofreading. I haven't been clicking on anything. Should I be clicking on everything? Yeah, these are pretty great, not gonna lie. But the most common emotion mentioned by the contestants is that of a feeling of unbearable melancholia. I'm sad now. Oh no, an empty room. Aww. The music really makes it. Have I mentioned I've been listening to this music all day? One of the reasons I downloaded this game was to, in hopes of actually getting a hold of the soundtrack separately so I didn't have to go to YouTube for it. And it does not come with the soundtrack. Despite their very young age, the contestants said that they experienced the emotion of an old person on the verge of death. Bullshit. Bullshit. That is not how kids think. Nobody, no kid would say that unless they're making fun of people, even in the 90s. Walk the plank. God, that's a great room. Some of them would feel regret and remorse related to notions they could not explain. Likely because they were, you know, young. The production eventually stopped using those empty rooms due to the player's negative feedback. However, some of the rooms never ceased to appear in spite of the decision triggering a wave of panic and confusion amongst the production crew. Okay, so that's 
The implication is that the production crew is not necessarily in control of which rooms show up next, right? This, incidentally, uh, includes children that have uh, receptors hooked up to the back of their eyes, so that, and, um, like, it's supposedly an ESP experiment, right? This is a paranormal experiment as a TV show. I think they're trying too hard now. Maybe, I don't know. Like, this kind of room is the kind of thing you would see in Nightmare, but it would be there as a way of, hey, which door do you take to take you to the next section? Like, do you go forward or do you turn right towards this door? Healing rooms. Healing rooms were rather rare, but appreciated when they appeared. They gave the adventurer a few precious health points, and without them, some teams would probably have failed. Is that a cauldron? It's a cauldron. In addition, uh, in addition to the rooms, some items from the choice trial could also provide some health points. I see a tiny little pie, and a brick of copper, a giant key, and a symbol? Or, I, I assume it's just for like, sim symbol, symbolness. During the last scene of the adventure, the players could also receive some bonus points according to their number of health points remaining at the end of the journey. What could they do with the points? Is it just a high score? Why points? Uh, lethal rooms. Okay, now, now we get to the movie Cube. Bomb rooms. Some of the rooms contained huge bombs set up by Lord Fear's henchmen. That's a pretty big bomb. I assume that's like in the foreground being thrown in a holy symbol? Like a sacred holy symbol or something? Might come up later in the game. Hey, did you pick up that holy symbol? If only you had that holy symbol. Well, you're fucked without that holy symbol. Something like that. Okay, that's like a really big bomb. Or it's just being thrown. If the player stepped into one of these rooms, their friends had only 30 seconds to guide the player towards the closest exit. Also, there's a giant skull square. I, I could kind of see this. I think this happened in Nightmare. I'm trying to remember. But uh, trying to get a kid who is essentially blind to run straight forward through a room and not smack into a wall was... That, that's a pretty good excuse for, for increasing tension and being really funny. Also, maybe those bombs were that big as an indicator. Chekhov's holy symbol? Yeah. Like, yeah, we could get the key, but that holy symbol serves no purpose and might come up later. If they could not do it within the allotted time, the bomb would explode and the game was lost. So when you're making a TV show, like a game show or something, having an instant death option is really tricky because what if you end up with not enough footage to make the episode you bring in another team and what if they make enough footage to make a whole other episode i see problems here kaboom goes off like saying the wrong thing on it on a uh, discord server smack into the walls very wily coyote i approve me too leave the instant death till halfway that makes sense Trap rooms. Apart from the bomb rooms, the players could also walk into what were called trap rooms. Hey, wait, I see symbols. Is this what the symbols were for? There were different types of them. 
And just like the bomb rooms, the players had to follow their friend's indication in order to escape the threat. <clears throat> this is what I showed you, uh, well, I guess like last episode, but um, directing kids, kids directing kids is hilarious because they don't have the experience to know how to fuck up. When, when my wife would direct me like she was the GPS, I, I didn't have time to look at the road. When she would direct me, she would say things like, okay, you need to turn left. And I'm like, I need to turn left. And she would say, right. And I'd say, I need to turn right. And she would say, no, you need to turn left. So left, correct. Because you say correct when you mean they're correct. You don't say right. And that would happen all the time in Nightmare. Ooh, spears. Cool. Circular saws, blades uh, tied to pendulums, huge gaps in the ground. There were a great number of threats. That more instant death sounding. Well, I mean, the blades would probably you'd lose hit points. But the, the gaps in the ground, that's just death. Halfway through the show. Circular saw. Oh, yeah, I just read that. <laughs> Have you noticed it's been the same kid every time so far? Khaki pants, green shirt. The kids in that video told the other one to walk a little bit to the left directly into a chasm. Yeah, that's what made it so funny. If they failed, players would lose points. There you go. But but like I said, you fall into a pit and die and you just die. Rocks fall, everyone dies. We all know how this game plays. If the number of health points reached zero, the game was over. Shortcut! Go, th go through the door labeled SHORTCUT in big bold letters. Against all odds, no incidents reported in those rooms during the show. Despite, despite it all. The trap rooms, meh, nothing happened. It was stressful enough. Night rooms. The night rooms rarely appeared, but made an impact when they did. You know, I could go through this with my sketchbook and also put together a dungeon based on this. The bearer of the helmet had to find a way to cunningly escape the wrath of the enemies. Well, why? He's just a blind kid. I could, I could kick his ass. I don't even need a sword. Ah, the free candy here. That's a pretty. That's a pretty good like candy tunnel let's go into the candy tunnel in this castle is that good ooh cgi knights that's how you know it's the 90s galahad appeared in one of those rooms if you squint you could kind of see dave mckean having painted galahad in this So far, the production crew have asserted that they still ha they still ignore how the statues displayed in the headquarters hall had appeared, or what kind of mechanism brought it to life. Uh, D and D D D D for the win. Even if the contestants' injuries were harmless, this event is one of the reasons behind the show's cancellation. What? The Galahad or the or the statue I, I would figure it's because like most TV shows they got ahead of themselves and it became all about the money and not the paranormal research like it was founded random rooms aren't they all random rooms whoa okay we, we have nothing for these random rooms the random rooms are least documented rooms since none of them were aired on TV. They look more or less like normal rooms and only features that would set them apart was... Oh, the only feature that would set them apart was the apparition of specific enemies in these rooms. Untrusted. How do I make a brain room? We need a brain room. I want a brain room. Those are, those are probably just giant worms, but it looks like a brain. Can I click on the brain? Can I click on the head of this kid?
Okay. Um, color rooms are next, I guess. They have their own red room. Green room. It's really funny that they're trying to shove weird liminal shit into this. I mean, like, Nightmare is liminal enough, right? You've seen the painting. Not even that liminal, right? Red rooms are important. Uh, the gameplay of the green rooms was particularly distinctive. Isn't a green room where actors go to, to rest between shows or before to get ready for a show? Not, not their dressing room. A green room is where they all collect and get ready for a show. This is a stage player. When a contestant steps into one of them, they have the role of, uh, they have to roll a dice. That is incorrect. The proper term is singular, die, plural, dice, singular, die, plural, dice. And the dice itself, the die itself would then appear in the room. Coming off as too negative, I actually like that. I, I like this too. Where'd the music go? Uh-oh, it's about to hit that kid. Once the die rolled, it tur turned into a kind of portal emerging in the room. It was actually a gate which would take the player to another part of the castle and the exact location was decided by the die's result. Hi there. Game Master here. Rolling the die actually does nothing. I, I already decided what room you're going to go to next. It just looks like the die is doing something. This mechanism appeared in several episodes. During one episode in Season 3, the portal apparently opened a gateway into a dark and terrifying dimension. Like you do. This place was systematically called... What? Systematically called the Dark Place. No nothing but creative names here. By all the contestants who came back from it. This incident happened twice during season six and eight. I remember one of the guys in an interview, one of the guys that worked on Marble Hornets said, so we had a guy in a hoodie. Do you know what the, uh, what the players, what the audience called him? Hoodie. We had another guy in a mask. You know what they called him? Masky. The feelings described by the contestants expressed in a sudden and frightening existential angst. Oh, uh, cool. Which would follow them until at least the, the last scene of the adventure. See the healing rooms. I guess we're going to do the healing rooms. Now. The contestants who went to the furthest point of the heart of this dimension. Oh, the contestant singular, because it only happened once. That's right. Found what would seem to be a watchtower. He mentioned a dreadful presence overlooked from the tower, but he remained unable to define it. Let the star spawn from the void. If, you, if you're cold, they're cold. Oh yeah, let them in. Let that sink in too. Let the sink in, the sink is cold. Uh, red room. Fucking finally. These rooms are rooms of meat. The Red Rooms were located in a zone called the Stomach, ew, ew, a kind of organic mental, he mental hell designed to try the contestant's nerve. Is this legal? That is a very meaty soundtrack. I approve. The issues with the meat started right after the first apparition of this setting. And in all likelihood, those two elements were connected. After a few airings of this setting, the production definitely, re definitely removed it since they had many complaints from families who deemed it too gory for such <laughs> young audiences. I'm okay. It snuck up on me, too. 
Is that fat? Delicious. Yellow rooms. Y yeah? The meat rooms. Oh yeah, hell yeah. We're gonna do a meat rooms jigsaw. Uh, there's nothing to click on. Does tab highlight? No, it doesn't. Help. Is this a backrooms reference? There you enter the magical realms of the yellow rooms. They say if they if you no clip through reality, you end up in the yellow rooms. Uh, up to up to now, the blue rooms have remained mysterious. Created by Jay, who's who's Jay? As some sort of mental trial, which could be crossed with a substantial mental health. The blue rooms would trigger particular visions related to dizzying dimensions reminiscent of brutalism. Every contestant, even remotely, f every contestant, even remotely fragile, could only stay there for a few moments, and they all mentioned a heavy feeling of sadness. The corridors leading to this dimension is in itself a challenge to cross. Notably, there were cruel imps and horrible giant, and a horrible giant, with a distorted face. Yeah, but it's hard to tell. All the faces are distorted. Are we getting, are we getting a lag quake? Damn it. I guess that's the giant. Build the giant. He's, he's still giant. If the contestants managed to avoid them, they could step into the zone. Several images have been recorded, but their, con their content make every attempt to analyze them useless. Jay's pages on this matter seem to have disappeared from his research notebook. So we have a new character, Jay. Let's write Jay down. Using old school pen and paper on this. J down. Thank you. Thank you, Doom Life. That is the correct level of sarcasm. I like the blue egg. Like there's so many. Oh, there's no help button here. All the others have help buttons. Not this one. Ah, huh. wonder what it means. Uh, okay, and then finally the secret rooms. Uh, okay, we have meat rooms, but they are not the red rooms. Help does nothing. I guess we're going to the meat rooms. John Teeter. John Teeter was actually the inventor of Nightmare for BBC. BBC Seven. This section addresses one of the strangest mysteries surrounding the show. Right after the first jester left, there were multiple jesters. A certain number of, of hap of events happened, all meat related. Hang on, I need to write this down. Hey, Jay, Jester, okay. Uh, there are multiple Jesters. Maybe there are like four Jesters, each with a number assigned to them, huh? Huh? Just saying. But no help came unto you. Uh, 
Yummy jester meat. Them's good eating. Hey, does this jester taste funny to you? Apart from the panic concerning the catering, several rooms in the castle were found packed with pieces of rotten meat taking place of the props that were supposed to be there. So, <laughs> so we're running a play. We're doing arsenic and old lace, and somebody has replaced all of our props with rotten meat. Let's see if the actors <laughs> will be able to tell the difference. I'm I'm anything if not predictable cross. <laughs> Even the crew in charge of the scenery denied everything. The events blew out of proportion and interestingly troubling ways. Interestingly troubling. I like that the eggs are made of meat. It's kind of like the whole is this cake is this not cake thing, but it's a question of is this steak? The production even had to install security cameras on the sets in order to identify the culprit, but it remained useless. It would seem that the meat appeared on its own. This show is an SCP. Apparently, the radical decision from season six, am I reading that right? The radical decision from season six introducing three-dimensional scen scenery put an end to those manifestations. What? Interestingly, or increasingly, what? Oh yeah, you're right, out of proportion in increasingly troubling ways. Okay, I've never learned how to read or write. I don't even know what I'm doing now. The, the messages are being beamed into my skull and the, the reception's pretty poor. Huh? What? I can't click on anything. Uh, okay, I got bad news. I think it crashed. We've lost all of our progress. I can't quit, I can't help, I can't do anything. Click harder. <laughs> I can't, I can't click harder, all right? I, I might have to close this because this broke. It broke, it broke good. Cool beans. I want to at least finish the rooms off before we switch to a new section. Okay, is that a problem with the meat rooms? Yes, yes it is. If you click help on the meat rooms, it breaks the game. De devs, devs, if you click help on the meat rooms, it breaks the games. How did you even fuck that up? That's amazing. It must have tried to do something else that isn't help related that, that great Sugoi. awesome let's try that again <laughs> well I waited there doing stuff Let's go to the aura rooms, which is a silly place. The different documents found after Jay went missing proves that he was particularly interested in aura phenomenon and the Kirlian effect. Give me a second. Define Kirlian effect. Oh, it's, it's a thing. 
Kirillian photography is a collection of photographic techniques to capture the phenomenon of electoral, electrical corona discharge. Hmm. I'm dancing. The song I'm Alive from the movie Xanadu comes to mind. Okay, if you don't stop that, you could go blind. I don't know if that joke is too old to work here. Obsessed with all the alternative ways that would allow him to corroborate his theories, Jay was convinced that auras could confirm the efficiency of his protocol. So Jay has protocols. This is probably for uh, paranormal research. Specifically, ESP. One of the that's a sad room. One of the rooms of the castle, there was a special camera which could capture and show the auras on screen. Quite unexpectedly, only the aura of the room itself appeared, but no human presence was recorded by the captor. I assume it means the receiver. Sad room, 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 sad room. Are these like mood mood ring colors for a room in particular? However, the room seemed to glow with a different color according to the number of health points of the contestant. Wink. Since the results were not satisfying enough, the process was quickly dismissed. And finally, the well room. The, rel the well room would appear at random. Oh, oh yeah? If a well had actually been built especially for the needs of the show, the original prop painted by an artist disappeared from the studio. An interesting way to put that sentence together. None of these were indigo children. Okay, define indigo children. Indigo children, according to pseudoscientific New Age com concepts, are the children who are believed to be to possess special, unusual or sometimes supernatural traits. Oh! They're the tomorrow people. There's a there's a British TV show for reference for you. Enjoy that. Chew on that. It's good. After this theft, wells started emerging from the ground in random scenes. So, it, so somebody stole the well so they could clone it. Just like the meat apparitions, this issue was stopped by a shift to digital scenery. Oh, okay, the implications that digital scenery came afterwards. Even though in Nightmare, like, that was the, that was the gimmick. The gimmick was that everything was digital. Uh, the most striking well was one that... One leading to the purple dimension C keys. <laughs> Let's write that down. Purple Dimension. Ease. <laughs> it's BBC. They have a massive prop warehouse. They do. Problems is that they grabbed a well, photographed it, and put it into the storage. Oh, there's a key right there. No. Okay, let's take a break. Also, what happened? What happened to my, uh, the side of my screen right here? That's weird. I think I see what happened, but oh well. We're gonna take a break. Make a cut for YouTubes. Are those cats? They sure are. I like those cats. And uh, we'll be right back. So relaxing. <laughs> 